This is just a quick demonstration of using RiverMax 2110 with Flowcaster. You'll need to install the RiverMax license. It needs to be installed in C Program Files Mellanox RiverMax Lib so that all the applications can find it. Once the networking is configured and the RiverMax license is in place, you should check the actual uh, NVIDIA Mellanox card to make sure it's set up properly. Right clicking on the network icon will allow you to bring up the open network and internet settings. In there you can go to change adapter options and you will see a list of internet adapters. I have my Mellanox Connect X DX connected here on Ethernet 4. You need to make sure it's a private network and then you should make sure that you know what the IP address of that card is, in my case 192.168.50.124. From the start menu, run the Flowcaster application. To configure the creative software, you'll want to set the transmit type to SMPTE 2110. Most of these other settings don't matter except the play audio locally, the watermark, and the burn in TC, which you can set however you like. To configure the 2110 manually, click on the IP config. You'll want to configure channel 0 set for 2110. The video format will be set automatically, but you do want to set the number of audio channels you'd like in your first flow and whether you'd like to use 125 or 1000 uh, packet size. You'll want to enable your interface and you'll want to lock your interface since you'll only be using that one card. The lock also means that when you change a setting, it automatically changes the setting in all the other interface settings. It's divided into three areas, audio, video, and ancillary setup. There's a receive side and a send side. For Flowcaster, they'll be working with the send side. So you'll want to enable your destination address and port and your video and set those to those locations. Change to audio, set your destination address and port, and then to ancillary, setting your destination address and port. You'll also want to configure the correct PTP source. If you're using a Bluefield card, you'll want to use the hardware SMPTE PTP. If you're not using that, just using ConnectX 6, you'll want to cho choose the software SMPTE 2059 PTP. Clicking Accept will set that as the current settings. To use it, simply run Adobe Premiere, select your project, go to Edit, Preferences, Playback, and make sure the audio device is set to Flowcaster Transmitter and the video device is checked for Flowcaster Transmitter. You can also adjust the settings from this plugin. If everything's configured correctly, you should now see the output of your 2110 on your receiver. From this point on, it acts like any other video board would, sending audio, multi-channel audio and video uh, into your network to be received at any point you wish. To use Avid Media Composer, start Media Composer. Load your project. You can then configure by clicking on the hardware button, selecting configure, and left, -click left clicking on the hardware button will cause it to start transmitting 2110. You can tell it's transmitting because the red is flashing within the button and your receiver should be receiving video and audio assuming it's set up correctly. Along with the direct drivers for Adobe Resolve and Media Composer, Flowcaster includes 
a standalone application that can send out 2110 via RiverMax from a variety of sources. These sources include Azure, Bluefish, Blackmagic, Matrox, Direct Show Devices, NDI, your desktop. You can then configure the application for 2110, configure the IP setup as we did before. and set the new configuration. And that will now transmit my desktop via 2110.